From allergic reactions to all-natural tree bark medicine, these stars have sworn off the Botox. Plus, the one celeb who thinks all this beauty fixation is brainwashing kids. It's generally assumed that most celebrities have tried fillers or Botox, but that simply isn't the case. After appearing at the Cannes Film Festival in May 2023, Kate Beckinsale shared photos and video clips on Instagram of her stunning outfit and flawless makeup. However, not all fans were supportive of the actor's look, with several suggesting that she must have undergone a facelift or had face fillers and Botox on account of her exceedingly youthful appearance. Beckinsale, who celebrated her 50th birthday in July 2023, was quick to set the record straight. In response to a comment alleging she'd had work done, she replied, "'I haven't had a facelift or filler or Botox. I'm not lying, and I don't have to accept people accusing me of things I haven't done.'" While the Underworld star absolutely didn't have to explain herself to strangers, Beckinsale elaborated on why she hasn't tried Botox or fillers of any kind. In another comment response on Instagram, she shared, "'I actually can't. I have a condition called mast cell activation syndrome, which is actually a massive daily struggle and means I react to hundreds of things badly. Can't take the risk.'" We all have mast cells throughout our bodies, but a person with mast cell activation syndrome is at risk of having severe allergic reactions, which can affect everything from a patient's blood pressure and respiratory system to their bowels. Drew Barrymore has been in the entertainment industry for almost her entire life, but that doesn't mean she's tried Botox or fillers of any kind. While hosting The Drew Barrymore Show in February 2021, Barrymore got candid about aging naturally, saying, I've never done anything to my face, and I would like to try to not to." The 51st Date star revealed that she wouldn't rule out ever trying aesthetic adjustments, but she has a pretty good reason for not jumping on board the popular beauty trend. The thing that I do care about and I do feel is still relevant to my life is, like, the face. She went on to talk about what she feels would happen if she did. I'm a highly addictive person, Ross. Oh, really? And I do one injection, I'm gonna look like Jocelyn Wildenstein by Friday. <laughs> of course, socialite Wildenstein underwent so many plastic surgery procedures that she was dubbed Catwoman on account of her feline-esque features. During a January 2019 interview with Glamour, Barrymore delved into her history of drug misuse in discussing exactly why she thinks cosmetic procedures aren't right for her. I've never done heroin and I don't want to get plastic surgery because I feel like they're both very slippery slopes. I feel if I try either, I'm going to be dead really soon." Refreshingly, it seems as though the E.T. star, who turned 48 in 2023, is comfortable with aging naturally and that she also knows her own limitations. Jennifer Lopez may be 54 in 2023, but the multi-hyphenate continues to defy aging in just about every way. After launching products for her skincare brand, JLo Beauty, in January 2021, Lopez was forced to contend with a slew of negative comments online. While promoting the JLo Beauty That Limitless Glow face mask in an Instagram video, multiple commenters alleged that Lopez's flawless skin was the result of Botox and fillers, rather than any particular skincare product. The Marry Me actor even responded to one of the comments by writing, "...for the 500 millionth time, I have never done Botox or any injectables or surgery." She also opened up to people about the accusations she often hears, saying, "...if you want to do Botox and injectables, that's fine. But I don't want people lying on me and saying, oh, she's trying to make believe that this stuff works." As for why the shotgun wedding star was so keen to dispel any rumors about her beauty regimen, Lopez told People, "...I just felt it had to be set straight but in a loving way. And one of my big beauty secrets is that I try to be kind to others and lift up other women." Basically, Lopez is so over being accused of altering her appearance with aesthetic procedures. Procedures. Kristen Cavallari broke into the entertainment industry with roles on the super-popular MTV reality shows Laguna Beach and The Hills. Since then, Cavallari has built a successful jewelry and homeware brand, Uncommon James, along with her skincare line, Uncommon Beauty. In spite of accusations regarding how she achieves her clear complexion and youthful skin, Cavallari maintains that she's a fan of aging naturally, rather than undergoing any invasive beauty procedures. During an interview with Page Six Style in March 2021, the very Cavallari star explained, "...people started asking me if I'd had Botox during interviews at, like, age 22, and I was so confused." Rather than having Botox or fillers, the reality star remains focused on using clean beauty products on her skin. 
I'm not knocking Botox or fillers, to each their own. I just think for me and my life, it's not for me. More importantly, Cavallari is concerned that there may be unknown negative consequences attached to utilizing Botox and fillers, which she'd rather avoid. She told the publication, "...they scare me, to be honest, because we don't know the long-term effects of the stuff. I think we should embrace aging." Unlike many reality stars, Cavallari appears to be committed to aging naturally, which is most definitely inspiring. As one of the most famous women in the world, Kim Kardashian's visage is constantly scrutinized, with people often questioning how she achieves her iconic appearance. However, the reality star has repeatedly denied that she's gone under the knife and claims that she also issues fillers when it comes to her beauty routine. During an August 2022 interview with Allure, Kardashian was asked if she'd done anything to her face, to which she responded, "...a little bit of Botox, but I've chilled, actually." The doctor did warn me about side effects from the Botox, but I am feeling like my eyes are on fire." As for whether or not she had any filler in her lips or cheeks, she replied, "...no filler, never filled either one, ever." Kardashian went on to discuss how she maintains such a pristine complexion, which has become envied by fans all over the world. She told Allure, "...it's not easy when you're a mom and you're exhausted at the end of the day or you're in school, and I'm all of the above. I do my beauty treatments usually late at night. After everyone's in bed, I'm doing laser treatments." While Kardashian has allegedly swerved fillers, she has admitted to getting several other cosmetic treatments, including belly button tightening. Additionally, during a season 3 episode of The Kardashians on Hulu, the KKW beauty founder confessed that she'd had Botox on her neck, so she couldn't move her neck muscles. Oscar winner Julianne Moore takes a no-nonsense approach to cosmetic products. During a 2010 interview with Allure, Moore shared her thoughts on aesthetic treatments, saying, "...I hate to condemn people for doing it, but I don't believe it makes people look better. I think it just makes them look like they had something done to their face." The Oscar winner seems to favor natural beauty without any obvious enhancements. She added, "...when you look at somebody who's had their face altered in some way, it just looks weird." In 2021, Moore elaborated on her approach to getting older during an interview with As If magazine, saying, "...there's so much judgment inherent in the term aging gracefully. Is there an ungraceful way to age?" Moore also suggested that the term aging gracefully placed undue pressure on women in a way that is rarely extended to men. Instead, the actor urged others to approach aging as a celebration and an opportunity to embrace joy and new life experiences. After all, aging is a normal part of life that everyone has to experience, and not something that can be prevented or avoided. Kate Winslet gained worldwide attention and acclaim with her role as Rose in 1997's Titanic, in which she starred opposite Leonardo DiCaprio. Since then, Winslet has found herself under the microscope, with strangers regularly critiquing her appearance. However, the Oscar winner refuses to be influenced by external pressures when it comes to how she looks. She also remains resolute that she will never undergo plastic surgery or receive aesthetic adjustments like Botox and fillers. In 2011, she told The Telegraph, "...it goes against my morals, the way that my parents brought me up, and what I consider to be natural beauty. I will never give in." In 2015, Harper's Bazaar asked Winslet if she'd ever had Botox or fillers in her face, and her response was simply brilliant, telling the publication, "...oh, f no." During the same interview, the mayor of Easttown star revealed that she relishes getting older and the confidence it brings her. She explained, "...what is so gorgeous, so really, truly bloody gorgeous about being the age I am is that all the ridiculous angst that I might once have felt about having a little bit of cellulite or being a bit puffy in the face or whatever has just evaporated. I simply can't believe I ever spent any time wasting my life on that nonsense." You said you went to great lengths to make Claire your own. Even you almost thought of getting Botox. That's right. And, and lip injections. Salma Hayek has been a regular on our screens since the late 80s, and she's just as beautiful now as she was then. And when it comes to making alterations to her face, the star is most definitely not a fan. In a candid interview with Dujour, Hayek explained, "...I don't believe in Botox because your face doesn't move, and it's something you have to do for the rest of your life, more and more every time." As well as wanting to be able to move her face, Hayek is keen to age naturally. She added, "...I want to look like a lovely lady when I'm 70." Because Hayek has such an enviable complexion, many people have questioned her stipulation regarding Botox and fillers, but the Magic Mike's Last Dance star hasn't swayed. Speaking to Town & Country in 2019 about her youthful complexion, she said, "...I haven't done anything. I don't know how to explain it." 
four years earlier, she discussed the same phenomenon with Elle and suggested that Tepes Coita, a holistic ingredient derived from the bark of a tree from Mexico, is her untapped beauty secret. She told the magazine, "...some of the ingredients, when I took them to the American labs, they were like, oh my god, how come nobody is using this? This is why I have no Botox, no peels, no fillings." Playing Rachel Green on Friends turned Jennifer Aniston into a global superstar overnight. Since then, she's created a successful movie career, released a hair care brand inspired by her inimitable style, and has been relentlessly questioned about her ever-youthful appearance. However, the star has denied undergoing lots of plastic surgery or using a ton of Botox and fillers. In 2014, she told Yahoo Beauty, "...there is this pressure in Hollywood to be ageless. I think what I have been witness to is seeing women trying to stay ageless with what they are doing to themselves. I am grateful to learn from their mistakes because I am not injecting into my face." The following year, Aniston spoke to Yahoo Beauty again and said of Botox and fillers, "...it's a slippery, slippery slope. It's a hard one to come back from." However, an earlier interview with the star suggested that she may have tried Botox at least once, but that she wasn't a fan of the procedure. She told In Style in 2011, "...people think that I do a ton of injections, but I don't. I'm not saying that I haven't tried it. All that cosmetic stuff looks ridiculous on me." While it's unclear what exactly Aniston has or hasn't done, it's at least clear that she's not a fan of injecting stuff into her face. Busy Phillips is known for acting on shows like Freaks and Geeks, Dawson's Creek, and Cougar Town. She's also somewhat of an Instagram celebrity, having amassed 2.4 million followers as of June 2023. In October 2022, Phillips decided to use the social media platform to ask her fans if she should be getting Botox or fillers done. The star shared a post on her Instagram stories in which she pointed to particular areas on her face and asked, "'Am I Botoxing the the Busy Tonight host even asked her followers to vote on whether or not she needed the cosmetic procedure. At least on some level, the star clearly likes the signs of aging on her face. And like many others, she's understandably nervous about undergoing an invasive procedure that has potential to go wrong. Phillips followed up the vote with a second Instagram Stories post in which she told her followers, "...I know I said this before, I just feel like I'd be the one that, like, it just goes wrong. I can't. My wrinkles are the windows to my emotions, you know what I mean?" Having won an Academy Award for her performance in Girl Interrupted, Angelina Jolie's acting ability continues to be celebrated, as does her work as a humanitarian. But as a Hollywood star, she has found her image and body continually criticized, with many asking if the A-lister has had any plastic surgery or fillers. However, Jolie has denied making any alterations to her face, claiming that her jaw-dropping appearance is completely natural. She told the Daily Mail in 2010, "...I haven't had anything done and I don't think I will. But if it makes somebody happy, then that's up to them." Diplomatically, Jolie suggested that other people should do whatever they need to do to be comfortable with their appearance, even if that includes using fillers. She explained, "...I'm not in somebody else's skin to know what makes them feel better about themselves, but I don't plan to do it myself." Jolie's lack of judgment is also refreshing, as she wants everyone to be empowered by their own decisions when it comes to making aesthetic adjustments. As of this video, it's unknown whether Jolie's stance on aesthetic procedures has changed as she's gotten older. Whatever the case, there's no denying that she remains a striking icon. Acclaimed British actor Emma Thompson has had an accomplished career to date, winning Oscars for both her acting and her screenwriting. And throughout the years, the star, who turned 64 in 2023, has made it clear that she's not interested in changing her appearance or attempting to hide the signs of aging. In 2014, she was asked how she felt about Hollywood's obsession with plastic surgery during an interview with the Belfast Telegraph. She told the publication, "...it is absolutely psychotic to shoot Botox injections into your face. It's mad. It's not a normal thing to do, and the culture that we've created that says it's normal is not normal." As much as the revered performer favors natural aging, she's also concerned about how young people are influenced by these extreme beauty standards. During the same interview, Thompson elaborated on why she's not enamored with the trend that sees people getting Botox and fillers on a regular basis. She told the outlet, "...it's chronically unhealthy, and there's this very serious side to all of that because we're going to end up with this sort of superculture that's going to suggest to young people, girls, and boys that this looks normal." We're it's so encouraged, we're so surrounded, wall-to-wall -wall images of impossible, yes. you know, shapes. Of course we're brainwashed. 
Amelia Clarke's performance as Daenerys Targaryen on HBO's Game of Thrones brought her to the world's attention. However, she tries to remain grounded, despite working in the glitzy entertainment industry. And when it comes to feeling pressure to undergo aesthetic adjustments in the pursuit of eternal youth, the Me Before You star isn't convinced. She told Elle in March 2021, I work in an industry where I've got to move my face, and I've got to be expressive, and you can't light filler. You just can't light it. It doesn't look right. You look shiny and strange. As well as thinking that filler doesn't look right during filming, Clark simply doesn't want to bow to external pressures when it comes to her appearance. She told the outlet, If my job is telling me that I need to have anything more than possibly a bit of Botox when I'm 45 or whatever, then I'll stop doing the job. But the actor is also realistic about the future, and the fact that she might change her mind when she's older. As she told the publication, I've never had it because I'm petrified, and I definitely don't want it now. But I'm not saying I won't want it later. For now, at least, Clark isn't a purveyor of Botox or fillers, and she seems happy with that. As an international supermodel, Bella Hadid is used to being in front of millions of people. It also means that her body has been subjected to more scrutiny than most of us can even imagine. During a 2022 interview with Vogue, Hadid decided to set the record straight on whether or not she's ever had any work done on her face, saying, I have never used filler. Let's just put an end to that. I have no issue with it, but it's not for me. However, she did reveal that she underwent a nose job when she was just 14 years old, a move she seemingly regrets now. While Hadid confirmed that she'd had a rhinoplasty, she denied undergoing any other work whatsoever, telling Vogue, "...whoever thinks I've gotten my eyes lifted or whatever it's called, it's face tape, the oldest trick in the book. I've had this imposter syndrome where people make me feel like I didn't deserve any of this." It's obvious that the immense pressure Hadid has been placed under as a model has affected her life in huge ways, but it goes without saying that the model's candor regarding her previous rhinoplasty shows that she's potentially willing to be open with her fans about the procedures she's actually had done.